announced the arrival of three new zoo inhabitants uh, who are yet to be named, and they're right here. Uh, looks like they have they have streaks of color in their hair to distinguish them because I can't tell them apart. Uh, but this is a very exciting thing. Um, the parents, if I remember correctly, are acorn and, and butternut, right? And they've they've uh, spawned these three beautiful beavers that will be inhabitants of our zoo. So this is yet another reason to come down here to the Buntwood Park Zoo uh, and visit. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. The carousel is really shaping up. The carousel housing is, is there. That's a brand new thing. We should take a look at that as well. And uh, But we're all excited to see our, our new friends, the beavers, today. Guys, what do you think about the beavers? Good? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. What, do you have any names for them? You want to suggest a name? What's, a, what's this one? What should this one be called right here? You see this one? What, what should she be called? You have a name? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll think about that. What do you think? Is there a good name? I think it's a... Uh, uh, I don't think so. Wow. I think mean is a... Uh, mean is... His name... His name... His name... Uh, How about pumpkin? Yeah. We could do pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. All right, sunshine. That's a good one. All right, all right. We got some good name ideas, and uh, are we taking uh, yeah. name uh, suggestions too? Yeah, we are. The, uh, we're going to be pre-selecting some names that the public can vote on starting. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to be pre-selecting some names that the public can begin voting on on August 16th, and that runs through September 3rd. Members will get the first shot at uh, picking their favorite names, and we're going to kick that off at our members night, which is going to be August 16th. And so we hope to see all the members there to start voting on their favorite names for these little guys. Another great reason to become a zoo member because it is a members only night. And if you want your, your shot at helping to name one of these beautiful little kits, that's the night to start. Oh. All right, so that's Shara Crook Martin, who is the director of the Bowen Park Zoo. And Shara, let me ask you a question. So baby beavers are called kits, K-I-T-S. You got it. Where does that come from? I have no idea. Okay. All right, but that's a but fun we'll fact that, that none of us knew before today. So all the more reason to come here and learn something. So do I get a chance to hold them? Yep. You all right. Put that microphone down. All right, and uh, they're all they're all party trained at this point, right? No. They're, they're not. All right, so you have you have diapers then? No. Oh, all right. So I'm taking a big risk. All right, here goes. All right, so I'm gonna hold this for you. All right, one. Guys, what do you think? Very adorable, huh? What do you think? All right, so this is uh, this is a real good reason for everyone in TV Land to come down here to the zoo and say, ah. <laughs> Okay, so this is something that we actually do every day right now for these guys. We have to keep track of their weights to make sure that they're growing at a good rate. You want to guess? Is there an over-under on this? Or, uh, <laughs> I would say. Easy, 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 easy. I would say let's go with uh, let's go with. Uh, I would say well let's uh, I don't I don't do metric very well so let's say three quarters of a pound. One thousand six grams. Okay, so that's one kilogram. So yeah, that's a little over two pounds. All right, so I was way off. That's good. Look at these tails. Look at guys. Look at the tail. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? They're perfect miniatures of the adults. Yeah. Now, we're, now the mother's not lurking around the corner, is she? Mom is inside having an afternoon snack, but right. you know we'll get these guys back into their exhibit before the she knows they're missing. All right, so for everybody who's watching on TV, let's make it down to the Bowman Park Zoo, see these uh, these critters. These are the most beautiful rodents I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> right. You guys get the pet?
horseradish. Is that for horses? Remember me, Mr. Lobster? From last Tuesday? Ba-na-na. 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 Here comes the rain. We need a hat. <laughs> and why do we need a hat? Hmm? It's a giant. That's right. When you talk with your child, you build vocabulary. And learning starts long before school does. For more tips, go to bornlearning.org.